It's the end of the champion's run. It's all come down to this, guys. What's gonna happen? Am I, are we getting Taker v. Taker? Is Rey Mysterio gonna face Undertaker? We're gonna find out. Did you see that match last night? Yeah, you cheated, but okay, you call me a cheater. I beat the crap out of Taker. Yeah, that's uh, another lie there, Mysterio. That means I'm going to WrestleMania! Wow, the arrogance of this man. I've been working hard for this my whole life. Dude, you'll get your chance in 06. And I want it fair and square. Uh, that's one opinion that uh, I do not agree with. Taker, I... Oh my god, it's Stephanie McMahon! Mysterio has been cut off! He's all grown up now. Here comes our great GM. You know why I'm here, Rey Mysterio. I don't think we can accept you as the official winner of No Way Out. I agree. Now what I have here is a letter from the CEO, Mysterio. Oh man. Bottom line is the board of directors decided that you cheated at No Way Out and therefore you did not win. Let's go, I agree. Because it was such an important match, that's what I came here to tell you. So tonight you will have a rematch with Taker. He's done. We will announce the winner of that match to be the challenger at WrestleMania. <laughs> Mysterio's done. He knows. Look, he, he knows it's over. It is absolutely over. I forgot to say one thing. I'm all grown up now. Oh, and I'll uh, play fair or something. I don't know. Stephanie made a great business decision. The rematch will take place tonight in the main event. Mysterio's pissed because he knows he's done. He, you know, he knows he's done 100%. There's nothing you can do. It's over. It's over. It was a good run. You cheated, but it's over, dude. Hogan gets the chance at his title again. Cannot get it. Wow. Undertaker versus Rey Mysterio, boys. I'm going to destroy this man in like two minutes. It's over. He kept getting up at No Way Out. He's not going to get this lucky. You know what? I'm not even going to watch him enter, boys. I just need to get ready for Taker v. Taker because that's it's in my mind. It's been in my mind since episode one. I can't lose that match. Must win situation, boys. I wonder what kind of match it's going to be, though. If it's Hell in a Cell and I screw around too much, that's what usually ends up costing me. <laughs> so I might have to play a little safe. Might have to use a little bit of weapons. We'll see. I don't know. You know what? How about open up with a choke slam? No. How about open up with a few? No. Okay. Hold on. Again, Ray, I respect you, but it's over. Opening up with a choke slam. It's over. It's over, Ray. Oh my god. Massive damage. He's done, though. Let the beating begin. Dude, I got so much momentum already. This is ridiculous. This overall gap. Look at this. I'm about to bust out the 666 again. Dial it up, boys. Get your phones out. Number of the devil. Dude, he's already orange. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. Just stop the match, ref. And also, Kyoto, how were you the referee in the cutscene but not the match? Explanation, please. Thank you. Dude, this... this, Guys, it's over. Try all you want, Ray. Dial it up. 666. Six, six. <laughs> Look at this. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Watch him kick out of this, though. <laughs> oh, he's only yellow and orange. He might kick out. No, oh, okay, that was close. Oh my god. Alright, I think I sent a message there. I won in like, what, two minutes or something? And we get to see a loading screen of Ray getting beat up. I'm very happy about that. Can we move on now? Taker has regained the right to go to WrestleMania. Right. Vince is in big trouble. Oh my god. That's the face of a man who's just done. Come here, boy. <laughs> Take souls, dig holes. 
No, oh my God, Vince, please. Guys, he's done. Oh my God. Just me on the face now. The biggest grapefruits in the industry. He's in some serious pain. Let the beating begin. Well, the biggest grapefruits are now just grapes, I guess. Taker has a shot at WrestleMania. That's right, folks. Taker v. Taker is back on. Let the beatings begin. Wow. Wow, Rey Mysterio's story arc, he got screwed over. <laughs> he was looking like a fool during that. Like, he, he imagine that booking. Like, he gets to look, like, incredibly resilient at No Way Out. And then he just gets absolutely obliterated on SmackDown. <laughs> The title match is just around the corner. How do you feel about being in the main event? I think it shows my hard work has paid off because I'm in the main event against myself. What is your impression of Taker? Well, he's me. Uh, he used to be me. I know everything about him. He deserves to be in the main event. Finally, fans are looking forward to your match. Do you have any message for them? Oh uh, yeah, check out Tombstone Pizza. Get some soup bones while you can. I'm doing a two for one deal. Oh, you're talking about the match. Uh, I'll give it my best shot. I'll see y'all there. Well, we heard comments from Taker who is ready for the title match. I'm Jonathan Coachman. One extra SmackDown special. SP plus three. Let's go, boys. All right, this is all... I'm just, I'm actually nervous about the Mania match. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm, like, actually nervous. But this is a must-win situation for me. I've been building for this for, like, what, 12 episodes? I have to win. I have to win. Must-win situation. Mr. America, get him out of here. I'm literally just laser-focused on WrestleMania right now. I'm actually nervous. I probably should be watching some entrances to make up for that time because we steamrolled Rey Mysterio. And plus, you gotta take in mind, we're going against the highest over on the game if you don't count the removed characters. At Mania for the title. It doesn't get any more, like, that's like the perfect ending for the Champions run. That's what it's all about, that biggest challenge. And that's literally it if you don't count the removed characters. So, I'm super nervous. Opening up with the choke slam again, I'm wild, guys. I'm just throwing out choke slams left and right. Oh my god. I'm really concerned about though getting submission cheese. So I'm you're probably gonna see me playing a little more like guarded and uh I guess you could argue probably cheap. I don't know, we'll find out what happens. I don't even know what match it's gonna be yet, so. Take your sizing the boy up. Oh my god. Oh my god, the ref's censoring this is just brutal. The Undertaker is just strictly focused on Mania, guys. I see no other alternative. I have to win. I have to overcome my past. This, like, it's not just about the title, guys. It, that's a big part, but it's more. It's about showing that you have to evol evolve in the industry. It's showing that you have to constantly improve. If he wins, that means the past wins, guys. I can't let that happen. I won't let that happen. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come here, Mr. America. You think I'm scared of you? Putting up a fight, though. I've had enough of mysterious masked men. Oh my, I feel like the game's getting harder at this point. <laughs> Maybe it's just because um, this is my first session in a while. Like, all these parts you're seeing like are recorded in one session, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to it again, but I feel like it's hard right now for some reason. Oh, can be scouted. One leg drop could easily end this. So it's time to play it safe, boys, but dude, we're literally like, this is a really close match. It's crazy. I'm gonna show you a big boot. Into leg drop. <laughs> It's over. Cover. Got fast count rep. Oh, God. Dude, I can't believe I didn't get the title back before the Rumble, but it's kind of funny how that worked out. We got to see the paying off Brock Lesnar and things like that. It was pretty hilarious. 
Oh my god, dude, Mr. America is destroying me. If this is gonna be how hard it is at Mania against that high overall taker, I'm actually really scared right now. <laughs> Are you scared? He's here. You know what? How about a tombstone, my man? You want a little bit of tombstone pizza? <laughs> a little bit of tombstone pizza? Is that what you want, man? Spike him down like a football. Soup bones. I'm about to blow out some soup bones, guys. You ready? Okay, apparently he's not ready. No! Soup bone. A little bit of standard pump handle action here. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna throw out a last ride and see what happens. The last C countered. Okay, I'm actually big spook right now. I'm also Jeff Hardy! <laughs> By the way, rip Jeff Hardy, man. He should have been the one in that storyline instead of Rey Mysterio, but Chris Benoit screwed him out of that as well as screwing me over. Right, maybe it's time to take it old school. Send a message to old school taker. Are you? I know you're watching backstage. And by the way, I just realized I forgot to change taker's attire. Plastic taker. I think I should do that before we start. Because I wanted to showcase one more mod of the tire. So I'll probably save after this. And showcase that. Boy, big superplex. Top rope superplex. I'm not messing around. Oh my god. The last ride. The last ride. He's done. Look at the hype, boys! Oh, he's, he's done, though. Get away from the ropes. Cover. Ref sliding into position. There it is. We're back on the road to WrestleMania. We've had some bumps along the way, but we always get back on course, guys. Always put gas in the bike. Keep moving forward in the road. I'm ready. Oh, my God. What now? Mr. McMahon is making his way to the ring. Has he recovered from the injury he suffered last week? Aker, how dare you? What? <laughs> I can't believe you have the nerve to show your face around here tonight. After what you did to me last week? Listen, man, you had that coming, alright? You screwed me over. You assaulted a helpless and rich man. Dude, I'm rich too! I paid off Brock I mean, what? <laughs> Disregard that. You, you didn't hear that. You made a huge mistake, pal, and you're going to pay in more ways than one. You think I'm going to fire you? Oh, no, 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 no. You're under arrest! <laughs> come out, come on out, officers. It's the police! It's the police who all look the same. Why can't the police have their own theme song? Are these boss man's deputies? What is this? They're taking a hold of the Undertaker? What's going to happen at WrestleMania? No! Dude, you think you guys can... Keep me in jail? You know how many SmackDown... <laughs> look how sad I look! You know how many SmackDown dollars I have? I can easily post bail. Will Taker spend the night of WrestleMania in prison? Great question, folks. Alright, so I'm gonna change Classic Taker's attire and I will be back. Alright, so we have changed the attire. Back in action here. Also, we're in jail, too, so that's a problem. So, how many SmackDown dollars does it take to get out? Mr. McMahon is here before us. He is all smiles and sunshine, brother. My company has been put in order again. I am very happy about that. To make your company better, sometimes you have to get rid of the dead weight. Okay, that's... With the things that have been going on here, that's a little rough, Vince. <laughs> People like Undertaker. Jesus. I mean, I have a dead man, so I guess technically I am... Dead weight, I guess. I don't know. But forget all that. Now let me introduce you to the one and only champion, The Undertaker. What? We need to see the new attire, by the way. Mr. McMahon called out Taker. I should have known by the classic Taker signs I've seen in the crowd. 
And here we go, you can see the attire. It's basically just a gray version of the default attire, which is pretty cool. No longer wearing his mask because he's not hurt anymore, folks. When did they form an alliance? Wow, a firm handshake here. Mr. McMahon has just embraced classic Taker and disowned current Taker. Vince is very opportunistic. That's why he's been so successful. Why, Taker? Why? That's all I want to know. Why? Taker, you must be one of the dumbest blockheads I've ever met. Wow. There are two types of people who you shouldn't defy. Dead people and... Wizards, I don't know. People who are stronger than you and people who have more authority than you. Wow. I think just because you're a higher overall, you can do whatever you want. I thought we had a respect thing going here. You're going to pull one of these. In this case, that's me and Vince McMahon. I have gray gloves now. Look at it. He will spend the night of WrestleMania. What the hell? It's The Undertaker. Did someone order some milk? Or is that soda? I don't remember. Oh my god, he's coming in his truck! Ramming the ring! Oh my god! What the hell are you doing here? Oh, I think it's soda. Daily delivery service. Taker is spraying him with soda. Let's go, boys! Dead man cola. Vince McMahon is drenching cola. Getting a soda bath. I'm pouring it in my eyes. I don't care. Classic Taker is shocked. Taker has made a great comeback. He's working his way towards WrestleMania. <laughs> Look at Classic Taker! He must be out on bail. That's right. You know how many SmackDown dollars I have? You can't stop me. Money is power. He's overcome a lot of obstacles. That's true. And WrestleMania is just around the corner. That's right. There's no forgiveness this time. Can I talk to you for a minute, Taker? Our staff has a special plan for your entrance at WrestleMania. You have time to listen to them. All right, so uh, we're gonna—I'm gonna claw on my bike here. I'm gonna jump through six flaming rings, backflip, and then do a loop around the ring, and then do a front flip into the ring with the bike. Right? No. So you're saying you want me to just do what Shawn Michaels did that we've seen already? Not interested. I see. Suit yourself. You think I have time to think about theatrics? I mean, I am the Undertaker, but. I, this is a do or die situation. I have to win. There's no losing. If I lose, it's over. The whole playthrough failed. It's all reliant on this one match. And if I cannot deliver, I failed in my opinion. I'm not even joking. Stephanie, please. Do you have the flaming rings for me to jump through? Hi, Taker. WrestleMania is almost here. As you know, WrestleMania has a lot of history. You know, you're undefeated or something. Just like the guy you're going against. And you'll be in the main event of the greatest show on Earth. Wow, what's the greatest show on Mars? You need to show us a fight that deserves to be in the main event match. Oh my god, dude, the pressure is rising. I'm actually so nervous right now. I'm not even joking. Anyone backstage? No. Alright, one more match and we'll check our stats and go into WrestleMania. Oh my god, why? Vince McMahon has put himself in a match. <laughs> All right, well, I've literally had enough of this man. He's going to be reversing all day. Might have to weapon cheese this man, but this episode's only 22 minutes. Are you serious? We're zooming. Guess I'll just skip entrances and watch. Uh, maybe losing the U.S. title was a bad thing, but I mean, I didn't lose on purpose. It just sort of happened, but I was playing super aggressive. So maybe, maybe there's an argument of self-destruction there. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Boy. I'm walloping this man. You respect me? Huh? Respect me! <laughs> you know I gotta land that in Classic Taker, but I really can't screw around at WrestleMania, guys. Like, I'm not even joking. This whole playthrough, like, this moment defines the playthrough here. You know, once the playthrough goes on YouTube, that's a piece of history forever, guys. Someone could be watching this, like, 10 years from now. There could be someone right now posting a comment 10 years from now, guys. Taker v. Taker. 
My actions right now in the present will define this playthrough's legacy. This is an Undertaker playthrough, boys. I have to win. There's no losing. That's not in my mindset. I can't. I have to do whatever it takes. It's funny because I said whatever it takes in that one episode, I lost because I was a big blockhead, but... I, it, it, this is really a whatever it takes moment. Weapons? If it's Hell and Cell, keep throwing them off. It's whatever it takes, guys. I don't care. You know, there's an argument about putting on a good match and whoever wins, wins. I get that 100%. But I have to win. So I'm doing whatever it takes, alright? By the way, I'm having no problem with Benoit this time. What's going on? Like, literally no problem whatsoever. Why? Like, I feel like I'm even getting massive momentum. And now he's starting to counter a little bit, but still, like, the damage is done. It's over. Time for your last ride. The last ride! The last ride! Oh my goodness, it's the last ride! Yeah! Look at the height, boys. Oh my god, he's done! I just made short work of him. That's a strong message being sent. I hope you're watching, Classic Taker. Because I'm bringing it at WrestleMania. And not via satellite either. I'm literally bringing it. I think we're going to find out what match we have. If I remember correctly. The match has just ended and Taker is on his way out here. Taker v Taker, boys. This is the central theme of this playthrough. This is their final confrontation before WrestleMania. Oh my god. Are you ready? I said no. <laughs> In the main event, yeah, I will beat you. One, two, three. Not gonna happen. There's no running. It's this Sunday. I know. I'm telling you right now, face to face, man to man. I'm doing whatever it takes to win. Whatever it takes. There's one thing we haven't decided yet. What color gloves am I wearing at WrestleMania? What do you like, the purple or the gray better? You like the mask? You want me to go back to Ministry for old times sakes? What, what are we wearing at WrestleMania, dude? How do you want to be beaten? Excuse me? This is streak v streak. You're that confident? Hardcore match? The mission match? Iron Man could be very interesting. No way. I want a hell in a cell. Hmm. So here's the thing. I feel like Hell in a Cell is the perfect culmination for the two Takers, you know, because Takers has been a lot in the Hell in a Cells, obviously. Um, it's also redemption for losing that one Hell in a Cell against... You know, I accept. That's enough for me. Still have heart, huh? Always. I'm dead, but my heart still beats. That's weird, isn't it? Well, anyway, I'm going to kick your ass. Excuse me, you put on gray gloves and your confidence just goes through the roof, dude. You'll regret posting bail. Nah, dude. When you have this many SmackDown dollars, you literally do and say whatever you want. They decided what kind of match they'll be having at WrestleMania. No, they decided <laughs> how they will beat the hell out of each other. Rightfully so, this is going to be one hell of a fight. <sighs> I'm not going to lie, guys. I am extremely nervous. I might have to keep throwing him off the cell. This is a whatever it takes moment, guys. It's all, it's all come down to this. WrestleMania Champions Run. The final Here Comes the Pain playthrough. Probably for a while. It's an end of an era, guys. This is literally an end of an era. Like, obviously, you probably might see Here Comes the Pain content. But this is literally, like, in terms of my planning, it's the end of an era. Like, you're going to see bonus stuff, obviously. And maybe some more playthroughs down the line. But so right now, this is it. Oh, my God. Taker v. Taker? We're only, like, 27 minutes in, too. This is... Gone fast. The night of redemption. Exa this is exactly a fierce stare down. I this is my redemption at the Hell in a Cell. You ready to accept your fate? Are you ready to accept the evolution of the business? The central themes, boys. Taker v. Taker. It's also about evolution. Evolving as a character. Getting better as a performer. I can't lose. Otherwise, all that's out the window. And then the old school wins. And, you know... Saying that you're past your prime, it's over, dead man. <laughs> what are you doing here, Taker? Uh, I'm sort of in the main event. You might have heard about it. Here's my question. What are you doing here? You're a big Hollywood star. Why haven't you dropped the title? How are you balancing WWE and Hollywood full-time? Trying to stay focused? Actually, yeah, I'm actually really nervous. I'm not going to lie, Rock. Must have a lot in your mind. True. Got nothing to say, dude. I'm too nervous. 
I understand how you feel. You're nervous, right? Dude, you read my mind, dude. Just remember this. I was a seasoned character before you. And Tess did not win. That's right. Only a few selected wrestlers can be in the main event at WrestleMania. There are a lot of guys who want to be in your place. Tess, Dream Mysterio, Hulk Hogan. I could go on, guys. <laughs> People out there holding their feelings and dreams on your shoulders. Dude, you're just putting more pressure on me. Just give it all you got. That's all anyone would expect. True. I think if I just put on a good match, people would be fine with that. But not me. I have to win. That's I'm obsessed with winning. I have to win this match. Good luck in your match, champ. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the culmination of the four. Here comes the pain playthroughs. End of an era. This is champion throwing SmackDown. Taker v. Taker. Just like I told you in the first episode. I have fulfilled my promise to you. Taker v. Taker at WrestleMania. Streak vs. Streak. Deadman vs. Deadman. The greatest event America has ever exported to the world. WrestleMania starts now. People in this arena are going nuts. There are a lot of matches you can't miss, but above all, King, what match are you waiting to see? Difficult to pick, but of course, I'm going to go with Taker v. Taker. You know, the time machine, the space-time continuum is all messed up. I'm excited. It's certainly a must-see match, King. It's going to be one hell of a fight. Well, folks, we're going to waste no more time. We invite you to the first match. <sighs> Taker, WrestleMania is finally here. And I see you put on nice gray gloves for it. Thank you. What are your thoughts on tonight's big title match? This is the biggest match in my career. On the biggest stage in the industry. It's streak versus streak. I'm going to put on the greatest match I possibly can. I'm sure the same thoughts are running through Taker's mind. I'm Michael Cole. Good luck in your match. And nice gloves. Oh my god, guys. Alright. As per tradition, let's check our stats. We've only lost six matches, but they were pivotal matches. So this might actually be on par with my other playthroughs. Uh, as you can see, I actually got myself DQ'd by accident one time, which is pretty funny. There's the submission loss, which uh, is kind of cheesy. Wow, Classic Taker's 22-6. and six. We both have six losses. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, here we go, guys. I'm actually super nervous. I have to win. I cannot screw around too much. Double Hell in a Cell. Stone Cold versus Vince. Austin stuns that man in the next millennium. The Rock has balanced Hollywood full-time. Now it's up to me. Can both champion-run characters finish with the title? There's a lot of pressure here, guys. Oh, my God. Cell is lowering. Is there even going to be entrances in this? Okay, I'm super nervous, guys. I cannot screw around on top of the Cell. If he gets one tombstone, it's over. Here we go. You know what, dude? All right, I got one free SmackDown. That's actually pretty huge. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Meet me on top of the cell. We're pulling a Mankind. You'll, you'll know what that means in a few years, Classic Taker. If you go back to your original timeline. Here we go, boys. This is Taker v. Taker. This is what the whole playthrough has been building towards. And here we go. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm so nervous. Big evil guy in the crowd is watching over us. Woo! No. My god. <laughs> and there's my opening statement. How are you going to respond to that, dead man, huh? What do you got to say about that opening statement, huh? Bold move on my part. Streak v. Streak. You know what? I got a second statement for you. Come here. Oh, God. He's got to stay in his zone. Hold on now. But hit that slow punch is so easy to counter. Got a statement of my own. Choke slam. You're going for a ride, dead man. This is lined up perfectly. Look at this. No, it's not. Okay. You got to say, dead man, huh? What do you got to say, dead man? No, we counter my free special. Wow. But I'm Jeff Hardy. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. 
Taker, boy. This is Taker v. Taker. You know how much money this pay-per-view is going to draw? Especially if you use time travel to get two real Undertakers. Not a fa This isn't a fake Undertaker, guys. Don't get it wrong. We use the time machine to get the real Undertaker from like... I don't know, what is it? Like 96 or something? I don't know. Somewhere around there. Classic Taker. These are two Undertakers. Two legends. Two undefeated men at WrestleMania. Colliding. Where are you going? You just going to let me get free momentum? What are you doing, you psychopath? <laughs> what? Seriously, what are you doing? Oh. But look at the athleticism right there. Oh, he's got me scouted. Even though I know all of his tricks, we know each other's tricks if we face each other multiple times, guys. Oh, boy. Come here. Come here. Not up there. Come on, get your gray gloves out here, you big spooky boy. Yeah, I can't screw around too much, though, guys. Because remember, this is a must-win for me. Must win situation. Must win! Okay, that was awkward. Got any guts to meet me up here? Huh? Huh, Taker? Okay, interesting choice. Yeah, I'm just gonna get some free momentum here. You're, you're digging your own grave, so to say. Able Wars? What are you? What's going on here? No! <laughs> he tried to go back in. I didn't allow it. Okay, seriously, what are you doing? Okay, whatever he's doing, it works. You got a free hit on me. Oh, God. The dead man is unaffected, boys. Big, slow punch. Very easy to counter. Meet me up here. Do you want to break this table instead? Is that the problem? Banish an out table first? Is that the rule? Here we go. No! Dude, if he gets one tombstone, though, I could be done. I have to really be careful here. That's what happened in the last town in a cell. Speaking of tombstones, did someone order the tombstone pizza? Spike him down. Look at the angle. Oh my god. There's a guy in the crowd with the Rey Mysterio mask. He's pissed that Rey Mysterio is not in the main event. Meet me up top, boy. If you still got any heart, huh? You think just because you won the last cell, you're going to steamroll me, huh? Oh god, this is not aligned like I want it to be. Okay. <laughs> Good for damage, but that's not what I wanted to do, actually. I want to do Respect Me in the last ride off the cell. Alright, meet me up top, boy. Oh. 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 He was trying that Taker Dragon Sleeper combo, I think. That's the cheese that got me last time. You respect me? Do you respect me now? Respect me! Oh, he's dead, guys. I The dead man. It's over. He's going back to the 90s. Last ride. Oh, see ya. See ya? <laughs> that was perfect. The dead man's out. You know what, dude? When you're feeling good again, meet me in the ring. It's time. It's time to... To accept the future. It's time to accept the evolution. It's time to accept the character change, growth, and development. Time to answer to the dead man. Come on. Not gonna work. Okay, I somehow missed an Irish whip. No! No, not this way. No submissions. I gotta stop screwing around, guys, but I really want to do two specific moves. Stop. Dude, he's moved the bar so far. He is the bar. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. This is really risky, guys, but... Okay, one more try at the move I'm trying to do. Otherwise, I'm... Not taker combo. No. I was ready. No cheesy taker combo. Suit mode! <laughs> okay, I lied. One more move. Oh, God. 
Time to take it old school, and I'm done screwing around because he's got a finisher, guys. Time to take it home. Okay, I lied. I'm going to take a massive risk. I'm going to attempt to steal the tombstone. This is the dumbest thing I could possibly do. If he counters this, I'm screwed. Tombstone, it worked. Let's go, boys. You, you stole the title from me with this move. I'm returning the favor. Eyes rolled back. It's misaligned for some reason. There's some spooky shenanigans going on. Tomb I'm not even lined up properly. What is this? It's cool how his eyes roll back, though. Ladies and gentlemen, The Undertaker has overcome his past. The Undertaker has captured the WWE title. The streak continues, or does it really not? Because they both got a loss, technically, because he beat his past. So I don't know. It's confusing, guys. Time travel is confusing, but there it is. That's it. That's the culmination of the champion's run. I gave him his suit bones, took it old school. The Undertaker takes the victory in the main event at WrestleMania. You've done it now. It was a hell of a fight. Both guys have given it everything they had. Every ounce of blood. Every drop of sweat. Every tear was shed in that ring. I'm so proud of these guys. The Undertaker has overcome his past, boys. Is that a tear in your eye, JR? Now here's the question, guys. At the end of the Champions run, does everyone go back to the original timeline? I don't know. I think it's a lack of respect to cry in front of these guys. Here we go. Classic Taker regains his feet. You know something? You teamed up with Vince McMahon, but at the end of the day, you're me. And you know, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, what's it about with The Undertaker? That's right. Respect. Got that right. Taker is raising Taker's hand. Wow, look at this. Look at this beautiful moment. Look at this wholesome moment. They're like smiling. No! I wanted to be a face. I didn't want this to happen. What? Taker is... What is he doing? I did not want this to happen, guys. Okay, wait. Maybe he's got a point, guys. He sent me to jail. He took my title. There was a lot of good times in the ministry, but I'm sending you back to the 90s. <laughs> Go back to the 90s. This is a heinous act by Undertaker. This shouldn't be the finale of wrestling. I agree, actually, but... I thought I'd turn face after beating up Vince, but I guess not. Somebody stop him. Why is Taker doing this? I, I don't know, actually. I guess it's uh, sending him back to the 90s. Oh, hey, Austin. Oh, hey, Rockhouse Hollywood, dude. <laughs> Are you alright? Behind the scenes, boys. Thanks. I'm going back to the 90s. It was an honor working with you. Yo, good match. You did a great job. Wrestling is in your soul. You have a gift. One question people always ask me. Why do you take souls and dig holes? Even when I was at the main event at WrestleMania, I did find out two things. This is my life. And The Undertaker is going back to the 90s and Rock is going back to Hollywood. I never want to stop taking souls. I'm going to keep taking souls and digging holes as long as I can. People like AJ Styles will be no exception. Especially when I hear the fans chant. My name, let's hear it. Right, ladies and gentlemen. And that's it. I'm going to skip the credits, but again, if you want to see him, watch the Ultimate Dragon playthrough. I talk about my uh, thoughts on Here Comes the Pain from back then and how I feel about it now, which... If you don't want to watch that, basically what I said is my opinion hasn't changed. It's still one of the best games ever. So much fun. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is the end of an era here. Um, probably won't see another Here Comes the Pain playthrough for a while. I know some people want to see like 2.0 and stuff, which could be fun. Maybe I could live stream that because it could be a whole different dynamic with a live audience. Uh, I don't know, but either way, uh, I had a lot of fun filming this. Um, something I do want to talk about before we wrap up here is if you watched all four playthroughs, which I don't know how many people actually did that considering the Van Damme playthrough was first posted almost a year ago. Which one was your favorite and why? I would like to know. Uh, I, I love hearing opinions. Uh, I'll try to give my opinion, but I don't really know because I like all of them for different reasons. Like, the Van Damme playthrough was like getting back into Here Comes the Pain, getting back in the groove, remembering why this game's so great, the season mode specifically I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I'm actually f forgetting who this the, the second play, the <laughs> Ultimate Dragon playthrough was great because it was like more of a challenge. Uh, it was building up to WrestleMania to get the title, just 
it was basically having one shot at the title. It was a little bit harder because we couldn't pick people up. And then, of course, the Champions runs are pretty special to me because uh, basically the idea of Champions runs uh, came from viewer feedback as well as my own uh, desires to um, see more cutscenes and stuff. I just want to see Taker on the screen, by the way. So, <laughs> um, so those were fun. Rock was especially fun because, you know, anytime I play as Rock, there's a whole bunch of Hollywood jokes you can make. I played the Spy Hunter game, which was pretty funny. Uh, pretty fun game to play, too. Actually, that was the first time I ever played it. Uh, and then with that playthrough, I kind of played like a heal, you know? Um, so, <laughs> some people probably didn't like that because I was, like, using weapons. I was, I was like, ultimate heal in that playthrough. I actually didn't lose that much in that playthrough. And then, of course, the Taker playthrough, um... I feel like some people might like this one the best because, like, I kind of traded titles back and forth with Classic Taker because, like, there's a whole overarching story, basically, that spans the entire playthrough of Taker versus Taker. Like, we team up, but we still fade each other for the title, and then it all culminates at WrestleMania, which is pretty fun. Um, and something else I wanted to mention here, this Champions runs, even though, like, you see them in our parts, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes work that went into setting these things up. Like, that one episode, you heard me, like, talking about how it took four hours to record that one part because of the issues I was having, you know, they're like, if something's not working, you gotta figure out what you did wrong. You gotta hit up the tutorials to get all this stuff working. So, I hope people understand that, and I hope at least some people enjoy the Champions run. They were a lot of fun to film. Uh, it was kind of like a different mindset. We added additional characters that not are not in Here Comes the Pain. Uh, and my whole philosophy on that is, like, um... The original, like, there's main playthroughs, like, where I don't tamper with the game that much. Maybe small things, like, adding different themes. Maybe I'm open to that. But, like, I like to have those playthroughs so people that never played the games can see the game as it's intended to be seen. But then you got bonus playthroughs where we can, you know, hit up some mods, which we did in the Champions run, so... Um, that's all I got to say. Uh, again, thank you to anyone who watched all four. Even if you just watched maybe just one, thank you. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It's really, it really is the end of an era, guys. Uh, you'll be seeing some bonus stuff coming up for this game. I don't know when, specifically. Uh, I also expect a, uh, additional scenes and choices video, which would be choices you didn't see in any of the four playthroughs. But again, I have no idea when I can get that out because there's no guide for Here Comes the Pain. So if anyone's interested in helping me with that, let me know if you know some things um, that I didn't do in my playthroughs. But um, otherwise, I'll sign off here. Uh, again, thank you. And remember, at the end of the day, regardless of what happens, guys, the Reaper always comes to collect. The Dead Man always comes back for what's his, the WWE Championship. So thank you. I'll see you next time.